can uh, can we get uh, the end highest salary so uh, suppose uh, can you please write a query where we will pass uh yes we can uh, write the queries in uh, multiple ways to get the nth uh, highest salary uh, like using the olap or uh, analytical functions or without using the analytical functions also we can uh, write like using the correlated uh, sub queries and uh, many methods are there so in this uh, method i can go for uh, using the olap uh, analytical function using the uh, row number or uh, dense rank if we have a duplicate records we can go for the dense rank if you do not have any duplicates we can go for the uh, row number so basically we can do the row number or use the order by salary descending order and uh, we can give you that as like alias and we can uh, we can call it as some rank as uh, name and on top of this query we can select only the very first record so that is nothing but if, if it is a first record that means that is a top highest salary if we choose the like n like whatever the number that you can give on top of it it will give you the uh, nth highest uh, salary if it is if you wanted to do the, get the highest one we need to apply the order by sorting uh, descending order if you want to get the lowest one we can get the we, we can use the ascending order so based on the order the records will get vary okay so which model uh, when you choose uh, which model like do you have okay. any like that yeah. you... like if our use case is like a oltp or application or kind of a use case that is a front end uh, that should be accessed by the end user uh, right so in that use case we can go with the uh, third normal form or uh, erd uh, entity relationship or uh, dimensional uh, entity relationship model so in entity relationship model is really we can go with the third normal form uh, to avoid the data redundancy and improve the data integrity and uh, many other uh, reasons uh, per uh, analytical use cases like data warehouses and reporting purpose this use cases we can go for uh, we can go for dimensional modeling so basically the dimensional modeling is nothing but uh, uh, tables that it has like dimensions and the facts and uh, we can have the schemas like star schema snowflake schema or uh, fact constellation so these these are all the uh, schemas that available in the uh, dimensional modeling so apart from this we do also have another modeling is nothing but uh, uh world data uh, world modeling so in the world uh, we it, it the structure is something like a bit different it has something like a hubs uh, links and satellite kind of these three type of a table uh, that it can represent so this will be mostly useful for uh, agility flexibility and uh, simplicity like if you wanted to uh, like if we have a, a system uh, that maybe in the future we wanted to get more systems are getting added to it so in that use cases uh, this uh, vault kind of a data modeling will be better fit and we can easily integrate the additional components into the existing model without disturbing the existing models or existing uh, tables but uh, it uh, the disadvantage of this is right so if we add more uh, components to it it will become clumsy and it will become more complicated so it is not e so easy to maintain uh, this kind of a, a model so these are all the models that we have so depends on our use case depends on our uh, uh priority we can go with uh, choosing the like erd data uh, data model or we can go with the uh, uh dimensional modeling or we can also go with the uh, vault model um you, you have designed any model for uh, like um uh, um so no sql data yeah i have uh, designed a uh, data model for the uh dynamo db uh, or which is nothing but a mongo db as well i have designed so when you are designing uh, any data model for the no sql uh, databases like uh, dynamo db or mongo db uh, we need to understand what are the query patterns that should be supported by the uh, tables or the collections created in the no sql uh, databases because these are all uh, schema and write model not on the schema and read model so uh, we can store the data in any sort of the model but it should support uh, while reading the uh, data so before that we need to understand what are the query patterns that it supported so based on it we can come up with the collection so easily in the ment uh, or mongo db or uh, this kind of a no sql database model we can try to uh, use the denormalized format as much as possible to avoid the joins because the most of the no sql uh, databases do not support the joins and the aggregated functions also sometime but mongo db can support the aggregated functions uh, so since we can consider all these kind of limitations 
and we can come up with the uh, data model according to our uh, use cases and uh, in mongodb i go with the uh, nested data structures by avoiding the uh, joins and uh, even in the uh, dynamo db like we can use the uh, you know filtering columns as like uh, uh, primary indexes and we can use the secondary indexes for the most uh, filtering or queryable kind of a columns so by using this technique we can uh, model the no sql databases so in uh, snowflake like uh, how do you manage uh, like a semi structured data so in snowflake to manage the semi structured data something like a json we can have a different uh, special data type is available which is nothing but a variant uh, data type it can allow you to store the semi structured data like json uh, json abro parquet in the variant uh, column after that we can also use the flatten function uh, to handle the nested uh, data like to flatten out the uh, complex structured data into the a flatten record kind of a model we can use the flatten function as well and also we can use the sql functions to split the data and then to store the data into respective uh, format so this is how we can uh, manage the uh, semi structured data in the fine so um does all the constraints of rdbms is applied in uh, snowflake uh, coming to the constraints like no it, uh, not at all, not all constraints from traditional uh, rdbm systems are enforced in snowflake uh, but we can uh, use like primary key unique and foreign key uh, these are just like supported columns but these not uh, enforced uh, enforced to use into it these are just like uh, for documentation and uh, query optimization purpose only we can have a check constraint and uh, th that is also similar like it, it do not uh, uh, enforce and uh, not null basically like fully uh, encoded in the snowflake so though it has a constraint so those constraints are not uh, enforced in the uh, enforced as like rdbms systems